Yo, what's up guys, it's the Mulberry Gamer here, and as the title says, this video is going to be for those of you who are just horrible at sniping, and I'm going to show you how you can make coins without ever having to go in the auction house, except for, of course, like, checking prices, because of course, you don't want to undersell anything. So, first things first, I would definitely, this scrimmage live event is definitely going to be so good for those of you who just don't, uh, who are just horrible at sniping and don't like waiting around for filters, and then you end up missing the round anyways, and you just wasted like 5 minutes of your life. So uh, this skirmish live event, uh, the difficulty is like jacked, so it's like super low, so if you, uh, it should be super easy to do. So hopefully I beat it really quick. And then um, this skirmish live event is good for two things. One, of course you get the uh, free little reward, so on top of your coin reward, you're also going to get either a quick sell or a silver player, which is of course uh, going to be useful because... Silver players not only do they go for like 500 coins alone, if you do this live event enough, uh, then you you can get 10 of them and then put them in the set, and then once you get the set, you can just get uh, trophies and that, uh, I've seen people pull like elites from the 6 trophy pack, so you can really pull anything and it uh, looks like I already have enough, so I'm just gonna run out the clock. But And also, scrimmage live events, they come with the little post game, uh, whatever it's called, post game collectible. And uh, once you get 20 post game collectibles, you fill out the little, uh, you fill out the set, do the live event, and then once you do the live event, you get a pack, and I'm actually going to do that live. And the packs that they give you, like premium packs, like of course you can pull, uh, like ultimate legends or whatever, but even pulling three golds, if you think about it, that's just still like, uh, like two or three K each, so it's still pretty good profit. But, anyways, we're going to. I think this is the one I need, yeah, this is gonna be the last one I need, so we're gonna fill, add and claim, remember, we also get the free 2500 coins, so this live event is definitely good. And also along the same lines, uh, ooh, and it looks like we just finished the Sets Master. Yeah, we're getting really close to Gronk, all I have to do is the season, and I should be pretty close. But anyways guys, yeah, uh, the post game live event should be open, and we're gonna do that, it's like the easiest live event ever. Also, of course, daily warm-up is along the same lines. Uh, if you do the daily warm-up sometimes, that's once a day. should be pretty easy. Uh, you get that free pro pack, and again, you can pull anything from that pro pack. So, uh, what are, that's like 7,500 coin value you just got for free. Alright, so DeMarco's got the good block, and boom. So, let's see if we can pull anything from this Campus Hero pack. Uh, yeah, I think it's Campus Hero pack this year, right? Yeah, not this year, this week. Alright, so let's see if we can pull anything. If we don't, it doesn't matter because the gold players are going to sell for a bunch. So, silver, silver, gold. Ooh! Oh my gosh! Look at this pack! Crazy. Let's see if we can get any more good stuff. Nice! Whoa, I didn't... Obviously, I didn't expect that. But this is an example of a good pack. I didn't pull any elites, so you might be thinking it's crap, but... Uh, let's check these two kickers, because I know 84 kickers are going to go for a bunch, of, even with the specials promo out, uh, like, devaluing every special team player. But again, we're not, I, okay, so again, this going to be a no-sniping thing, so we're not, we're, we're not going to buy anything, we're just going to check the prices. So we'll do folk. Looks like 17k, 16k? Let's try 16k. Alright, so yeah, you guys buy like 15k, let's try Lambo. He might be worth the same because they're both 84s. Okay, so yeah, they're both worth about 15k, but we'll just say 13,000. Just put them up low, that way they sell, because we don't really, you know, like that 1,000, it's not going to matter that much. So, and there we go, look at that. So th there we go, that's 26k just from playing the live events. And hey, I'll take free 26k any day. And then also, I think I'd like to mention that, uh... I'm gonna talk about the actual realistic stuff you can make mo coins from. Like, of course, you can, like, whenever All Pro is out, you could get, like, that Zach Martin who sold for, like, 2.2 mil. Of course, you could technically get him from the live event, but the chances of you pulling 12 QB collectibles is, like, pretty slim. You gotta pretty much play, like, every living hour, and I know a lot of you just don't want to play this game every living hour, which I don't either, so. And, like, fan favorites, for example, like, yes, you could grind out to get enough collectibles but 300 collectibles is just 
a little unrealistic, so. Um, I'm just gonna talk about the realistic stuff. Same thing with, uh, another live event I would suggest is, of course, the Game Changers. Yeah, Specialist, Game Changers, uh, Journeyman's, whatever. Because the gold ones sell for, like, 10k. But I would not recommend upgrading to the Elite ones, because unless you pull, like, the best pull, you're not gonna make any profit. Because the Specialist players go for, like, 10k each, but... To get the elite, you're gonna have to spend 25, so that's about 250k worth. And the elite specialist player, unless you pull like the 93s, you're gonna pull like a 90 overall that's worth like 40k. So uh, that's another great way to make coins. Uh, same with the champions. I mean, you don't make coins, but you get good players. Yeah, I don't like the new thing what they're doing with the promos to where uh, everything's not optional, so it's like can't really make coins with anything. Another great way to make coins is this League Masters. Like, people think that once you get the 10 uh, collectibles for Mobile Masters, you should just, like, quit your League. Maybe you could stick around to get the, like, Eifert and Sherman and all that, but keep filling this out because this League versus League Reward Pack is basically a Pro Pack with a League Masters fit in there. So, and, like, uh, there, I don't think I have a screenshot of it, but I pulled the 90... The, not the night I pulled the 83 Jordan Barry when uh that headliners was out. Oh my gosh, that was so much profit. He goes for like 700k now, but uh, I sold him for like 500k. It was crazy good profit, and I got him for free just from playing the game. So that's um a super good thing. Also, Football Outsiders, uh you can you do not believe how many times like I pulled elites, and I know a lot of the elites are worth like 10k, but if you pull one of the like rare elites, there can be worth like. 100 200k and that's like a realistic one too that like i filled that out i filled that set out a couple times uh all yeah that's pretty much all this uh, that's pretty much live events uh also whenever um defensive game plan there you go defensive game plan whenever that live event comes out i would play it and then of course you can't snipe them but uh you know if you wanted to you, you could snipe them but it's no sniping video so you gotta play the live event even though it says you have a chance at a defensive game plan, I've yet to play the live event and not get a defensive game plan that's like bronze or something. And once you get like a bunch of the bronze ones, uh, just put them in the silver upgrade set and then sell the silver ones for like 17k each. Like I play that I can play that live event uh, since I have 32 stamina. I can play it like six times at a, ga a time. And then this stamina bar refills about three times a day. So that's about 18 of the collectibles. We'll just round it to 20. So then. 20 divided by uh, 5, which is the number of bronze you need, is 4. So you get 4 silvers, and then they sell for minimum 15k each, and then some of the rarer ones go for like 30k. So there you go, that's 60k just from playing the live one. So it should be really easy to get your first, uh, to get about 200k, I'd say, in like a day or something, if you just don't want to snipe, if you just truly devoted yourself to just playing some of the easier ones, not the hard ones. Like, campus here, I just made, like, so I probably made around 50k each, 50k just in this video alone, and I'll take a free 50k in 10 minutes. And look at all these reward sites I have, uh, if I open some of these, I might open a few, but if I pull any, like, silver players, it's gonna be pretty good, even the bronze players. I've pulled gold trophies, silver trophies from the, uh, bronze trophy set, oh, also, uh, I'd like to mention, okay, <laughs> Uh, I keep trying to talk about stuff, but uh, there you go, 2,500 coin collectible, pretty easy profit, but anyways, like I was trying to say, if you pull bronze trophies, don't put them in the silver upgrade set, because each bronze trophy is worth about 1,000, so even if you only pull two bronzes, there you go, our kickers are selling now, it's so good, look at the easy profit, there we go, another coin collectible, I'll open one more, and then let's put our bronze players into that uh, two trophy play, uh, trade in. I should have enough. We're going to add items, and even if we pull two bronzes, it's still profit. Ooh, two silvers. That's, I mean, it's the same as two bronzes. So those are, it actually might be worse because silvers are lower than bronzes because man, man logic. <laughs> so, uh, there you go. That's about 1600, and those bronze players are only worth about 1200 combined. So those, those good profit. Ooh, no, no, never mind. The Sam Martin I posted up earlier sold for 15k, so. We'll see if these uh, kickers sell. They should, because they're way overpriced. Uh, way underpriced. Oh, let's check the folk. Yeah, these kickers should sell. I can't imagine why they wouldn't.
But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new. If you did, drop a like below. Go subscribe. Go join the Mag Squad. Go comment. And I'll see you all next video.